Look how this thing on top curves. If only this camera would show it. Look how this thing on top curves. Almost curves around the edges of the thing right under it. This thing under it. The thing right above it. Kind of curves around the edges. This is definitely not the result of wind. That would keep this perfect gap between the two parts there. There's something keeping it separate. And plus it has waves in it. And I guess another one wants to join in with the other. Waves are getting bigger and bigger. Waves going in one direction. While the one below it doesn't have the same waves. But the one below that does. They might be spraying different things. They all have different reactions to whatever electron manipulation they're using. I hope this shows up. On a computer monitor, it doesn't show up well on my camera display. Can we see these waves here? I'm trying to show it up in this thing here. And it doesn't even meet with the thing underneath. And notice how the textures of the two things are very different. And there's constant planes working close together. Do the section by section. And then there's a, even another type of texture over here. It changed fast. It was real hairy a couple minutes ago. But with all this, even up here, look at this. Look how right above the step it curves right around it but doesn't quite meet. All the way through. Now it's turned into a strange looking... line in between and that is just the strangest thing I've seen and these things are really moving around uh, yep those waves are clouds there that's not reflection off my window and I just saw a sample of a scale of clouds yesterday now I'm wondering if this is one of those look how suddenly one part of it is just going up I hope my battery recorder will get full before I could get this. This is the strangest I've seen yet. And this is on my two, two and a half hours of sudden non-stop spraying. Oh, here's the Harry. Oh, this camera sucks. Here's the Harry. Like more flat layered from plain to a top of plane, a top of plane, a top of plane. Here's a newer trail, a sample of what I'm talking about. And these waves are getting bigger. And as they get bigger, the other stuff is acting really strange right above it. And then the gap in between. And then stuff above that. And of course, a more fresh trail widening up. And this thing is moving upwards. It just looks strange. And this thing is almost taking the shape, this in-between part of this gray that's of a different texture. And of course, there's one of our lower flying military planes. We got much more of those coming right towards my house. I lost it. Let me get on camera while he's closer. And he's as I said, this is not a good camera, so he's not as small and blurry as he looks on here. This 
change this. Now you mean if I tell them about it. I've seen so many different types of chem clouds, but never in my life have I seen this ever. This is the first time I've seen this. When you have the parts that stay free of the particles, and which above it is not falling or meeting with what's below it, it has to be some kind of electromagnetic manipulation. And I know if I put this on YouTube, there's still going to be, going to be stupid people who say that I need to learn about types of clouds. <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe I need to zoom out to show the shape. 